Our top story this morning, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson breaking away from some members of the Trump administration, saying that Washington is willing to sit down with North Korea. His comments coming just a day after the U.S. envoy to the U.N. said Washington was done talking with Pyongyang following its second ICBM launch. Kim Hyo-sun starts us off. In a departure from the recent rhetoric out of the Trump administration, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says Washington is willing to sit down with North Korea for talks. At a press briefing on Tuesday, Tillerson also reiterated that the U.S. does not want to bring about a regime change or collapse in the North. Reaffirmed our position towards North Korea, that what we are doing, we do not seek a regime change, we do not seek the collapse of the regime. We do not seek an accelerated reunification of the peninsula. We do not seek an excuse <clears throat> to send our military north of the 38th parallel. Making it clear that Washington is not North Korea's enemy, he urged Pyongyang to understand that together they can reduce tensions and move toward a brighter future. That we would like to sit and have a dialogue with them about the future that will give them the security they seek and the future economic prosperity for North Korea, but that will then promote economic prosperity throughout Northeast Asia. Tillerson's remarks come a matter of days after North Korea test-fired its second intercontinental ballistic missile and amid calls within the U.S. for new strategies to deal with the North, including possible regime change. According to Tillerson, the Trump administration has been pursuing peaceful pressure on North Korea up to now. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.